I, I think the Carl Sagan effect has died away, actually. Now, yes, but you're as, talking 76, yeah, right? That's true, yes. Um, no, it didn't, it didn't worry me. Right. Um, uh, possibly should have done, but no, I don't, I don't think so. I, I don't think I've suffered from that, actually. Right. Um, so, of course, from there, you know, you've gone on to write a variety of other books expounding the various ideas of evolution, and you've, of course, as we all famously know, moved into the position as one of the strong proponents of, of atheism. You know, I made a joke about it early, but it wouldn't, if you don't mind, can we spend yeah, a few fine, minutes yeah, talking yeah, yeah. About, about God, if that's okay? So, I, I'm just wondering, I too get asked at many lectures my view on God. And my typical answer is that, sure, there could be a God that's behind it all, and what we're doing is physicists, chemists, biologists working out God's laws. And if that's how it is, I am thrilled to be part of that noble journey. I then add by saying, look, there's no evidence for that. I don't see any reason to believe that. And if what we're doing is just working out the laws of physics or chemistry or biology, and that's all that you need for a universe, I'm thrilled to be part of that journey. So the bottom line is, you know, from a sociological, from a historical viewpoint, religion is very, very interesting, but it's kind of profoundly uninteresting to answer the deep questions because I feel like all I'm doing is replacing one mysterious set of words framed scientifically with another set of equally mysterious words that are framed non-scientifically. Yeah. Now, I should say, after I say that, I always apologize because <laughs> I am all for hedging your bets. I'm you know, not beyond that at all. Um, What do you think of that view? Well, um, <laughs> I think that the, the sort of Newtonian, I mean, New, Newton thought that he was, he was working out um, God's laws and he was de demonstrating the, the glory of God's mind when he worked out the laws of, the laws of mechanics and so on. Um, I've, I'm not so at ease with that as you seem to be because it does seem to me that if there is a supernatural, superhuman intelligence that worked it all out, in a way that undermines the entire scientific enterprise because we are, maybe, maybe an evolutionary biologist feels this more strongly, the whole enterprise of evolutionary biology is to explain how you get prodigious complexity and design from virtually nothing. I mean, we hand over to physicists when we, we can go beyond the virtually nothing to the absolutely nothing. Um, <laughs> but, uh, um, but, but if you, if you start from, if you, if you say start from quite an advanced level, bacteria, and, and, and work up to, uh, to mammals and, and, hu and humans, um, we have a working theory which we know is true, uh, which explains how you can go from great simplicity to prodigious complexity, uh, and, and finally to the sort of complexity which is capable of designing things, of creating things, of working out how to do things. Well, if you are suddenly going to insert a designing machine, a, a, a creator, an, an intelligence at the, at the root of the universe, you've just undermined your entire enterprise because your entire enterprise has been to explain how you get to uh, something complicated enough to do, the, to, do, to, to do design. But even if that being just set in place the laws and then stood back? Even that, even, even the deistic God who sets the laws in place and, and, and withdraws, um, if those laws, if the implication is that, that, that those laws were cunningly designed, cunningly crafted, as many people think they were, um, so that atoms should come into existence, so that chemistry should come into existence, so that stars should come into existence, so that nuclear reactions in stars could produce the elements, so that um, they'd explode and, and, and we'd get a suitable chemistry to make life and then the origin of life and so on. If the, if the deistic God thought all that through and set up the laws of physics, then he would have to be damn clever. He, he would have to be a, a, the physicist to end all, fi all physicists. I don't care if he then with, withdraws. He needs an explanation in his own right. And 
uh, it seems to me that the noble scientific enterprise is to, is to start from as near nothing as you can get. Yeah.